Nick, with that goal here tonight, you cracked the top 10 for goal scorers in the league. How does that feel? Um, uh, I, I guess good, just trying to come to the rink and get better every day. So it's nice to get rewarded. And how would you describe the pace of this game here tonight? Uh, I thought it was, uh, it was pretty fast, but they, they were pretty good in transition. Uh, I thought that we can clean up our neutral zone a little bit. Uh, I thought we kind of allowed them to have a couple more chances off the rush than probably deserve. Uh, so I think that's something for us to work on. And how would you describe playing on a line with SDA? Uh, I mean, he's a really crafty, really skilled player. Uh, I think a lot of times it's just kind of get the puck to him and then go get open because he'll find you. Uh, I really like playing with him. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Shalgren has said that he wanted to find more consistency in his game. He had some big saves here tonight. How great was it to see that? Yeah, I, I think uh, early on in the year he was kind of fighting it a little bit. Not necessarily that he was playing poorly. He's, I think he's been playing really well, but just ironically it seemed that every time he started were the, the few games that we lost. Uh, not at all his fault, so it's, it's nice for us to kind of find ways to win to, to help him out because he's done a lot for us. What are you finding that's clicking with your game specifically right now? Um, I, I think it's just trying to be a little harder to play against, so getting above my check and being a little harder on pucks and then I just trying to get to the middle of the ice as much as possible. I think that's kind of something I'm trying to work on, uh, especially down low and on zone entries, getting to the middle of the ice because that's where the, you can create some time and space and make some plays. And what stands out to you most about Joey Anderson? Uh, I'd just say that he's every shift mentality of, uh, wouldn't necessarily say he's the most skilled player, uh, but he just works so hard and he's really good at getting to areas of the ice where he can be successful and uh, he's really good in front of the net. Uh, I just, yeah, it's really, it's nice for a rookie like myself to kind of come to the rink and watch him every day and the work he puts in and uh, it helps drive me to be better as well. Adam, goals in back-to-back -back games here now and that that one last game was the first one in a while. Do you feel that momentum's clicking for you now? Yeah, for sure. You know, um, even though the goals weren't going in, I thought I was still playing well. Uh, the team was playing well. Um, I thought my line mates tonight played really, really well, so it made it easier on me out there. You know, Steve and Cliffy really won some battles out there and made good plays. Um, you know, it was a great play by Blender to find me on the backside there in that power play. Um, so, you know, um, it's good to see the puck going in, but, you know, it, it wouldn't be happening without the guys I'm playing with right now. And this team that you just faced here tonight actually played last night. So the way they came out so hard, were you guys surprised at their energy level? I mean, usually usually on a back-to-back, -back, you kind of get a little extra adrenaline, a little momentum. So we were expecting them to kind of uh, play a hard, hard game and, and make it tough on us, um, you know. Um, we got to be a little better with our with our starts and with our um, response after goals. Um, but you know, um, I like the way we, we fought back again and, and uh, held on to it in the end. And speaking of fighting back, how would you describe the team's resiliency? Yeah, it's really good. Um, you know, we're not getting down on ourselves. We're not we're not we're not uh, negative on the bench. We're staying positive. We're forgetting about the past pretty quick, which is good. Um, you need to have some mental toughness in this game, and I think overall as a group, um, we've had really good mental, uh, mental toughness, and you know um, it's been working for us. And what can you say about Shalgren's performance tonight? Some big saves there. Yeah, he has some really good saves, especially on the PK there, and he stood real tall in uh, overtime and um, in the shootout there. Um, he 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 kept us in that game for sure. It was. Uh, um, it was a really good game by him. All three of our goalies have been playing really well lately, and they've been keeping us in some games, so it's really good to see. How would you, I'm trying to think of the right way to say it, but like Joey Anderson, like he goes up, comes down, and he, it's like nothing. he didn't miss a beat. He's just, he's good everywhere on the ice. How, how would you describe the way he plays on a night tonight? Yeah, he just plays the same way no matter where he is. He knows his game. Um, he's been in this league for a while, so he's figured it out. Um, you know, he, he knows what he has to do to be, be productive out there, and he just goes out and does it. He works hard. He gets to the net. He does the tough stuff that not a lot of people want to do in this league and, and up at the NHL, and um, he does it well, and it works out for him. All right, Coach. Two games in a row where you guys had to fight back, force that extra frame, and then got the win. How would you describe your team's resiliency? It was, it was good. Uh, this team always finds a way at the end of the game to get the job done. Uh, shows a lot of character and 
maturity in the group. Uh, st we're still looking for ways to shut the door earlier, probably in, in games like this. Uh, you know, we they were able to respond quickly after we scored a couple times in this game, uh, and for us to you know, do something this year and, and be a great team towards uh, the end of the regular season. We need to make sure that we're shutting the door in those moments. First look at this Lehigh Valley team. Is there anything that stood out to you about the way they play? They were hard to play against. They forechecked really well. They have a lot of big bodies. Uh, they were physical um, and they crashed the net. A lot of their goals are just getting numbers there and making it hard on us and um, uh, definitely, definitely challenged us in a lot of ways. How do you think things went on the special teams tonight for your, for you guys? Great, three goals in the power play, penalty kill shut the door. Uh, they were definitely the X factor today. Joey Anderson, two goals and an assist. How would you describe his play? It seems that he hasn't missed a beat uh, ever since coming back. Yeah, he's Mr. Consistency. You know what you're going to get from him. Uh, you know, it was a big response in the first period to be down by two goals, and our, our team found their way back into it quickly. He obviously had a big part in that. Um, but that's also why he's a leader on our team. He, he drives a lot of things for us. We've talked a lot about goaltending. Big game from Eric Schalgren, a couple big saves. How would you assess his performance? It's, it's a game he definitely should uh, take some confidence from. Uh, the big save there in the overtime on the three-on-one, uh, we had to slide across and, and make a save on that one-timer and then in the shootout as well. Uh, there were also some big saves in the second period that he made uh, when we had some defensive breakdowns. So, uh, I know he's been wanting better for himself as of late. This should be a confidence builder for him. How much time do you spend practicing the three-on-three -three over time? And, uh, it's kind of a niche skill to use, but when you do need it, it's really important. How do you go about figuring, you know, what do we need to practice that? Yeah, I wouldn't say we practice it much at all, full ice. Uh, there's a lot of small area games or drills that are three-on-three -three with smaller numbers that you talk through some concepts of what you're trying to do. Um, it's more principle based than it is structure based. In the overtime, I thought it went pretty well. There was a couple moments where nervous that they were getting numbers above, uh, but I thought both teams did a good job of, uh, you know, picking their spots to transition and kind of threaten the net a little bit. But our, our guys, uh, it's one of the strengths of our teams is the depth. I was able to use a lot of pairs and a lot of fresh legs uh, to, to bring out some energy, and I thought they played with good pace.